Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your headgear for the presentation of the colors by the Air Force Junior ROTC under the direction of Colonel Stephen Mews and Master Sergeant David Miller. The national anthem will be sung by the Fargo South Concert Choir, directed by Mrs. Sarah Lickblau. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and the class of 2015, you may be seated. Welcome everyone to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2015. My name is Kyle Glander, and I will be attending the University of Jamestown this fall for business finance, and will also be your master of ceremonies for today's celebration. For the past 12 years, each individual in the class of 2015 has been on their own personal journey of ups and downs, successes and failures, and times of happiness and times of sadness. However, as different and unique as each of our lives has been, we have attended school with one common goal in mind, graduation. Most of us came together in sixth grade at Carl Von Alsa Middle School where we first learned what it means to be a Bruin and how to live life and make decisions the Bruin way. We then spent the next six years of our lives living united as Bruins, where we learned valuable lessons, met lifelong friends, and made memories that will last forever. Each of our individual experiences and personalities then began molding together to create the class of 2015. Even after the ceremony and graduation, we will continue to remember what we have learned in the past 12 years and also continue to live our lives the Bruin way. Our opening speaker this afternoon will be Anna Lolly. Anna has been very involved in her time at Fargo South and in addition to being the North Dakota DECA state president and captain of the girls' tennis team, she was also involved with student council, national honor society, fellowship of Christian athletes, Spanish club, and volleyball. Next year, she will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and will major in biology. Here is your opening speaker, Anna Lolly. Hello. 
Hello and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Fargo South class of 2015. I am honored, humbled, and grateful to be speaking to you today. As we sit in the individual seats and get our individual diplomas, we know we did not do this alone. Each one of us achieved this with the support, patience, and encouragement from many others. Our individual accomplishment is the result of a team of support and supporters. I want to begin by thanking all of those people. Our families who force us out of bed each morning, the educators who provided time, talent, and understanding, and of course, our classmates and friends who stuck with us through it all. Today is a day to celebrate the outcome of our hard work, graduation. This journey began in kindergarten and developed over the years. What began as building popsicle stick art transitioned to building rockets in physics class. An elementary school standing in line comprised of boy-girl formation and sometimes even using a rope, now today we will manage a full alphabetical ordered processional. Good behavior cubes, which had a way of making or breaking your attitude for the day, now have become that third tardy or detention in high school. Capture the football in gym class became a foundation for winning sports teams. And the anxiety over whether or not you got to be a cranberry in the Claire Barton school play was recreated as they posted the cast list for one of our own high school productions. Looking back, it's these, it's these little things that prepared us for our future. These were the building blocks along the way. All these steps, all of these building blocks, and all the minor and major accomplishments made us into the graduating class of 2015. Throughout our academic journey known as elementary, middle, and high school, the end goal has been this commencement of 13 years of learning. As we started our senior year, we felt comfortable and confident in our surroundings and place in school. Each year, we knew what was going to happen because we had been doing the same things for 13 years. Starting today, our lives may not be as comfortable, and we might not feel as confident as we did in elementary school when everything was scheduled, because the next part of our lives will not be as predictable. Some of us may be going to a college, a trade school, or right into the workforce. Whatever it may be, go with an open mind, confidence in yourself, and the skills you now have because you are graduating from Fargo South. Trust that the little things, that these building blocks have prepared you for your future. Think about this. Do you know what each one of us has in common with the Grammy Award winner, the Senior Vice President of American Express, one of the top brain surgeons in the United States, and the Lieutenant Governor of North Dakota? They are all just like us. They were once in this exact position. They are all graduates of Fargo South High School. So now, go forth and add your name to this list of accomplished Bruins because our futures begin today. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Our first keynote speaker today is Lori Hagedal. Two words that I think of when I think of Lori are courageous and dedicated. She is courageous in the fact that she always stands up for what she believes is right, and she is dedicated with her time and work put into academics and to achieving her dreams and aspirations. She put her talents to use in many clubs and activities at South, including philanthropy and youth, student council, fill the dome, soccer, and French club. In the fall, she will be attending Elon University in North Carolina to pursue a major in psychology. Your first keynote speaker, Lori Hagedal. Hi, I'm honored to be able to represent such an amazing senior class of Bruins and speak to you all today. Uh, however, when I was told that I would be speaking today, um, I had a difficult time deciding what to talk about. Uh, but I knew that I wanted to talk about something relevant to our senior class. So obviously, I went to Twitter. <laughs> For the less tech-savvy listeners out there, you can ask your graduate about what Twitter is later. Uh, because what's more uh, relevant than being able to publicly spew 140 characters of what you're thinking? So as I was scrolling through Twitter, I came across a trending hashtag, which is senior year in five words. Reading through the tweets made me pause, and I wondered how students and teachers at Fargo South High School would describe their senior year in just five words. So I asked them. Principal Dr. Birch's five-word description was that South High is bruinly awesome, while Hannah Curran summed up senior year into Birch is my best friend. <laughs> Mr. Hackey responded with a Charles Dickens quote, the best and worst of times. And Ashley Hunnell similarly said that senior year was an amazing, stressful, fun-filled ride. When I asked Miss Guy, she stated that it was all about discovering who you want to be, 
but I'm not sure if wanna counts as a real word, but I guess I can't argue with an AP English teacher. And Matteo Naibo jokingly summed up senior year with the common question, Miss Guy, can we leave? <laughs> I decided to challenge myself to compute not only senior year, but all 12 years of school into barely five words. And this is what I thought fit best. Individual bears becoming Bruin family. We all began as little individual bear cubs going to elementary school. We were split up among Clara Bar Claire Barton Hawthorne, Jefferson, Lewis and Clark, Lincoln, and Carl Benielsen Elementary School. From the moment our parents dropped us off for the first day of school, we began forming friendships with each other. It was quite easy to do, since anyone who sat next to you in class or had the same color lunchbox as you was instantly a best friend, and the two of you would begin to share snacks and crayons. There was even a period of time set aside each day uh, just to play with friends outside, and I know we all remember and treasured it, recess. It's where light-up sneakers and puffy winter snowsuits were worn, and where all the scraped knees and athletic skills originated. Whether it was during recess, music class, or snack time, we all became very close with those in our elementary schools. Then, in sixth grade, all of us came together to start our large Bruin family for the first time at Carl Benielsen Middle School. I know that none of us really want to remember those days of general awkwardness, but bear with me, because I'm going to rehash those moments anyway. Unfortunately, I think we've all experienced some of the floundering moments like bad haircuts, acne, braces, headgear if you're like me, a drama with friends, voice cracks, and awkward conversations about relationships with your parents. So yeah, middle school was pretty rough. The amazing thing about all of those less than perfect moments was that we all went through them, and we all went through them together. But middle school was a lot of fun too. We got to form close friendships with the students from different elementary schools that we've never met before. And we got to go on fun field trips like the Bowling Alley, Bonanzaville, and Minneapolis. Then those fun moments and friendships got to continue at the start of our freshman year when we moved to South High School. That first day, we all scrambled through the hallways pretending to know our way around the new school, even though none of us had any idea what we were doing. However, soon after, we became acquainted with our new surroundings and peers. We delved deeper into academics, clubs, and athletics, all while maintaining and furthering our friendships. Over the four years, our class went through so much together, from state football championships and spectacular celebrations, to bouts of drama and losing a beloved classmate. We truly did become a family together, and I am proud to be a part of our amazing senior class. Just as our Bruin family came together from many different elementary schools, we are now being sent off to many different places as well. We are all leaving. Some of us are going to college, some of us are starting apprenticeships, and some of us are beginning careers in the workforce. Wherever you go, I can guarantee one thing. There will be many more awkward, less than perfect moments in your life. But just like in middle school, we will all go through them together. Because we may be going our own way, but we will not be going there on our own. Our Bruin family has always a welcoming home bear den to come back to. I believe that the students and teachers of Fargo South High School said it best. Senior year is an amazing, stressful, fun-filled ride filled with the best and worst of times, just discovering who you want to be. Looking back, individual bears became Bruin family, and that's what made and will continue to make South High School so Bruinly awesome. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2015. Thanks, Lori. Our next keynote speaker is Grant Scrovey. I have had the pleasure of sitting next to Grant in band the last four years, and I've gotten to know him quite well. Grant exemplifies what it exactly means to be a Bruin and provides an example for others of how to truly strive for excellence, not only in the classroom, but also in activities and in the community as well. At Fargo South, Grant was involved in theater, student council, band, and Bruin ambassadors. He plans to major in biology for pre-dentistry at the University of North Dakota this fall. So please welcome your next speaker, Mr. Grant Scrovey. Thanks, Kyle. I'd first like to start off by thanking our family and friends who are here today to support us. I'd also like to not only thank my classmates for being here, but for allowing me to speak in front of you. Wow, we finally did it. That, of course, being high school, the one thing that we've all devoted our time and energy to over these past four years. I'm sure you're all sitting here with thousands of thoughts and questions about what's going to happen after today, or maybe even when this is gonna be over. But I'm also pretty, pretty positive we all woke up with the same feeling about 1,374 days ago. 
1,374 days ago, we woke up with a variety of questions and other thoughts racing through our minds because that was August 25th, 2000, 2011, otherwise known as our first day as freshmen at Fargo South High School. As we stepped into Fargo South for the first time, we were immediately greeted with our school's motto, strive for excellence. Whether it was printed on the tiled floors in the main hallway or on the full body mirrors that everyone's probably taken at least one selfie in throughout high school. Throughout the past four years, we've all been working towards the motto, strive for excellence. Whether that be getting the lead in the fall musical, getting an A on your final exam, or even helping lead your team to the state championship football title by defeating Bismarck High School. The faculty and staff of Fargo South have reinforced the school ideology throughout their teaching and coaching, advising, advising and counseling, and their support. Although these amazing leaders have reinforced this idea, what does it really mean to strive for excellence? And most importantly, how can we take that into our future lives to see where we are 1,374 days from now, 1,374 days after that, and so on? Recently, my mother was given the opportunity to go to a banking convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. I know, it sounds pretty nerdy. I'm only mentioning this because at the convention, she had the opportunity to hear Dr. Condoleezza Rice speak. If you aren't familiar with Dr. Condoleezza Rice, she was the first African-American female to serve as Secretary of State for the United States of America. During her travels to other nations, Dr. Rice was asked to describe the people of the United States. She was asked questions such as, what is the religion of the United States? What is their ethnic background? Or what jobs do people in different classes hold? But Dr. Rice expressed the uniqueness in the United States, stating that we are fortunate enough to say that where we come from doesn't define where we can go. We have the freedom and the opportunity to do or become anything we want. Dr. Rice is a shining example of this because she not only proved to people that you can truly be anything you want, but she exceeded our expectations. She grew up in the far south surrounded by racism and segregation, but look at where she is now, a strong, dedicated leader in our nation. Another thing Dr. Rice advised was to find a mentor in your life. While you are discovering your path and which way your talents lead you, I encourage each and every one of you to look up to your mentors. Soak up the knowledge they have learned and allow it to follow you through your adventures. We can not only learn knowledge from these people, but we can learn from the success as well as the failures of the generations before us. Each generation has their own nickname. Our generation of people born between the mid-80s and the early 2000s has been described as the millennials. The millennials have also been described as the web generation or now generation. But just recently, I heard a new term that describes the millennials. That term is the slash generation. And from what I see, I think this best describes us. And don't get too excited, all you generation Xers from the 80s. This has nothing to do with the guitar player from Guns N' Roses. We are the slash generation because we don't just choose to describe ourselves with one word. We don't rely on one, one role to define ourselves. We separate each of these roles with a forward slash. At Fargo South, we were offered a wide variety of extracurricular activities and sports. And from what I know, we all did more than one of those. Unlike previous generations that only defined themselves as a jock or a musician, today you have the opportunity to be in both. The wide variety of activities has set us up for what the future has to offer and where you can take your talents. For example, you can be a dentist slash dancer slash human rights activist. There is no limit. Our mix of roles is essential to our well-being. The idea of focusing on only one thing seems so antiquated, boring, or outdated. We can use our various passions as a way to express ourselves and as a, creative for it, as a creative outlet for our everyday life. On a final note, if I could have told each of you one thing 1,374 days ago when we all first started high school, it would be, you matter. And now, 1,374 days later, I can tell you that same message. You matter and you are important. No matter what you do or where you go, you have the opportunity to choose. We are always being encouraged to follow our dream, but in a true millennial slash generation style, I'm going to challenge you to make that dream plural. Go out and follow your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2015. It's been an honor.
Thank you, Grant. Now, class of 2015, it is almost time for us to get our diplomas and officially graduate. As your name is called and you walk across the stage, I hope you reflect on the last 12 years of your life and all the positive memories and successes that have come from school, and especially in the last four years at Fargo South. Receiving your high school diploma is truly a moment that you will remember forever. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our principal, Dr. Todd Birch. Thank you, Kyle. Good afternoon and welcome. It is a pleasure to have you present today to celebrate the academic accomplishments by the members of the class of 2015. There have been many successes that have been achieved by the members of this class, some individual, some team, and some by the entire class. And I congratulate you on all your achievements. To start the school year, the administration addressed the seniors to be leaders and role models for the students at South High. I am proud to report that the members of this graduating class have answered that call to show underclassmen what it means to be a Bruin. It is an honor to say thank you. Speaking of thanks, I express my thanks and gratitude to the parents and guardians for the encouragement and the support provided to the graduates through the years of education and ac activity involvement. It has been a privilege to assist in the social and educational development of your sons and daughters. Another group of people that deserve recognition are all the teachers, including elementary and middle school teachers that have been a part of each member of the class of 2015. I especially want to thank the faculty and staff of Fargo South High School. It is a pleasure to share with you the names of the staff members who are retiring this year. Janice Buchholz, Mary Cummings, Gail Hyde, David Miller, Amy Schollmeyer, Lynn Garcia, and John Severson. At this time, I would ask the retirees, all South High teachers, and other elementary or middle school Bruin teachers to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Graduates, my final message to you is a challenge to keep three words in mind as you move in life. They are class, success, and perspective. On multiple occasions, you have been referred to as the class of 2015. How many of you have truly, through, uh, truly thought about the word class? There is world class, there's first class, there's class act, and so on. As you progress in your personal and professional journey, it is my goal that you achieve and maintain class. Always strive to be remembered for your character, your leadership, your attitude, your scholarship, and service. Let me repeat, class is defined by your character, your leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service. We refer to this as the Bruin Way. It is these traits that will define you and will be used to measure success. And success is number two. Each of you will determine your success. How will you define success? Is it money, prestige, service? Teddy Roosevelt said, do what you can with what you have where you are. Or consider the words by Albert Schweitzer, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. Folks, it's that simple. Success in life is all about perspective. Dictionary.com defines perspective as a mental view or perspective, which really means you are the key to your own attitude and your reactions and interpretations to situations. Let me share with you a fantastic story about perspective. Whenever I'm disappointed with my spot in life, I stop and think about little Jamie Scott. Jamie was trying out for a part in the school play. His mother told me that he'd set his heart on being in it though she feared he would not be chosen. On the day the parts were awarded, I went with her to collect him after school. Jamie rushed up to her, eyes shining, pride with pride and excitement. Guess what, Mom, he shouted, and then said those words that will remain a lesson to me. I've been chosen to clap and cheer. Class of 2015, go forward with class, achieve success, and be very aware of your perspective. I am honored and proud to be chosen to clap and cheer for you and bid you a farewell. 
John Wesley said, do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all times that you can, to all people that you can, as long as you ever can. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in clapping and cheering for our Bruin graduates. Well done, guys. This time, it is my privilege to certify the students in the Fargo South High class of 2015 that are about to receive their diplomas have met all the requirements that have been established by the Fargo Board of Education and the Department of Public Instruction. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to present the class of 2015 to Fargo Public School Superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Schatz. Good afternoon. It's my privilege to be here and celebrate with you on your day of commencement. 2015, class of 2015. You know, your journey has been a long one and you've come to that point now where you're ready to take the next journey in your life. But before you do that, something happens. You become alumni. You become alumni of the Fargo Public Schools, specifically of Fargo South. And there's nothing more proud to be than a Bruin and to carry that tradition on throughout the rest of your life as alumni. To celebrate that, there's one thing that I like to do each year at graduation. And so at this time, I'd ask the graduates to please stand. And I'd ask you to turn to the crowd, to the audience. And I would ask in the audience, anybody who has graduated from Fargo South High School or any Fargo Public Schools to please stand. Let's see our alumni. There they are. And graduates, let's give them a round of applause. All right. Terrific, you can sit down. Alumni, thank you for your continued support of the efforts of the Fargo Public Schools. It truly is a great district, and your support and your continued support is really important to us as we carry on the mission of educating the students in the Fargo School District. Graduates, today I want to just share with you a couple of thoughts. I want to talk to you about the future and what you'll need to know as you engage in a globally connected and ever-changing world. Grant touched on this a little bit earlier, but graduates, you know that you represent the largest generation and the most diverse group of young people in the United States, the millennials. The millennials range in age from 10 to 35, and your group is nestled right in the middle of that group. The one characteristic that sets you aside from any previous generation is the sheer amount of technology that has been at your disposal since the day of your birth. You are the first generation to have this type of connect connectivity than any other generation. The access you've had to information is unprecedented. From information gathering to social connectedness, you are tuned in and plugged in to the world around you. So what does that mean? It means that you hold the key for generations to come. Your use of technology to change the current status quo is the legacy of some day of which you will be measured. It is incum incumbent upon you to lead the way in knowledge creation, breakthrough thinking, creativity, and innovation. In his book, 21 Trends for the 21st Century, Gary Marks identifies 20 targets we need to know and be able to do to be prepared for the future. Now, I know I stand between you and your diplomas, so I'm not going to go through all 20 because you wouldn't be happy with me, but I will share with you a few thoughts on those 20. The first one is communication. Reading, writing, speaking, listening, concept development, and research will all play a critical role in your ability to create and innovate concepts considered as new knowledge. Engagement in language arts provides the foundation to cultivating these communication skills, which are more than ever before a requirement if one is to succeed in a global world. The second one is science, technology, engineering, and math, or what we're referring to as STEM. STEM-related core subjects will provide you the knowledge base to lead discussions for new and innovative knowledge. What brings it all together is the arts. The arts cultivate creativity and stimulate out-of-the-box thinking. Imagination, creativity connects the relationships between innovation and um, invention. The arts connects the dots and takes us to places never before realized. And by engaging in the arts, you will be able to make connections between science, technology, engineering, and math. This collaboration across disciplines is the cornerstone to new breakthrough thinking and knowledge. 
Social and behavioral sciences, understanding the role of society, identity, diversity, and culture will be critical skills needed for those who live in the global community. Having good judgment, ethics, and character will be necessary for you to engage in a society with empathy and compassion. Considering, consideration of varying points of view will be essential to a civil society in the pursuit of the common good. Here's the big one for you. Leadership, management, economics, personal finance, health, well-being, and life skills are all skills that you will need to ensure that your personal house is in order. Responsibility for one's actions by making sure that you take care of your financial and physical well-being will be the key to a happier and more productive life. And here's the last one, finally. Work and life balance. Ensure that the work does not become the mainstay of your life. Finding balance between work and life requires that you care for your family and friends, for they are the ones that you have in the end. <clears throat> you have leaned on them in times of need, and as you go forth, there will be times again when you need their support. Conversely, as you walk through life, they will need you. As you transition from your youthful state in which you now exist, you will become the one who will give back and be there when they need you most. Graduates, challenge yourself, dream big. You have every opportunity to be successful in life. Seize the moment and engage, product, uh, engage in your future. Congratulations, as I wish you all the best. Thank you, Fargo South graduates. Great year. Congratulations. Graduates in the first row, at this time, if you'd please rise and make your way to the stage, please, to receive your diplomas. Ellen Oz. Siobhan Adams. Mariah Alexander. Babylon Alarabe. Anna Ames. Jacob Anderson. Chelsea Anderson. Indira Baliagic. Gana Bonya. Tiffany Barth. Mona Basnet. Beatrice Tweezer, Anna Benson, Sita Batari, Tiffany Bjorklund, Brady Bedecker, Miranda Borg. Alexander Brandt, Katie Bramer, Parker Breckus, Jacob Briss, Ty Brooks, Mason Brotherson. Michelle Brewer, Christian Cakebread, Naya Shaking, Spencer Cook, Sienna Kraus, Tyler Deitemeyer. Mitchell De La Roseby. Andrew DeWald. Leandra Diaz. 
Alexander Dubord. Dundre Durham. Taylor Eckert. Allison ID. Brittany Eiter. Quinn Erickson. Rianne Erickson. Reed Erickson. Camille Everett. Christopher Flagtwit. Kaylee Fawson. Adiam Gibru Lacey. Damien Geller. Fadendra Gimri. Carly Gilbreth. James Gerdner. Kamala Giri. Kiana Goodman. Kyle Glander. Kanan Gorder. Peter Griggs. Emily Grothman. Mercedes Grot. Jade Grover. Jesse Grover. Curtis Guterdon. Sangeeta Guring. Brian Hamilton. Lydia Hanna. Lily Hanaher. Hunter Hansen. Jordan Hansen. Madison Hardy. Abigail Haug. Holly Hauger. Nathaniel Hauser. Angel Held. Lori Hegedal. Troy Hines. Race Hoagland. Kinsey Holden. David Holty. Brett Holtzman. Ashley Honnell. Torren Horvick. Christopher Holselton. Jamie 
Hoverson. Emily Howes. Jeanette Ergabiza. Mitchell Ayamuramye. Andrew Jacobson. James Johannesson. Xandra Johnson. Cody Jordan. Kelsey Yonke. Christina Kolk. Aaron Castro. Hannah Kearns. Tribien Kendrick. Lucas Kensock. Noah Kensock. Abdi Kamen. Eric King Kester. Sean Kittleson. Austin Klein. Jason Klug. Alicia Krabenhoft. Mohammed Kroma. Morris Kroma. Anger Cooklong. Jason Lamb. Erica Laughlin. Anna Lolly. Aaron Lees. Deanna Lendy. Danielle Linu. Hannah Letness. Elvin Lean. Lisa Lively. Blandin Lodi. Lindsay Lorenz. Kaylee Love. Ilaria Makia. Tristan Madison. Nathan Maliski. Jared Manti. Adin Moslisha. Audrey Mathina. Madison Metard. Bilal Mohammed, Anthony Morgel, 
Jake Morton. Samaya Mujanovic. Andrew Meyer. Locke Nepal. Chase Netum. Sydney Neva. Nancy No. Alec Nichols. Manami Niyokuru. Natalie Nureya. Margaret Noah. Elman Newerkit. Matea Naibo. Matthew O'Mara. Mai Oba. Alexis Olson. Oakland Olson. Rin Oma. Parker Osland. Melissa Port. Edward Powell. Rachel Prunty. Jaden Qualley. Ganitra Rai. Sarah Rieger. Nelson Roll. Logan Rohde. Abigail Roberts. Devin Rorick. Courtney Raisler. Lori Rodick. Abby Rocky. Austin Roselle. Connor Ryan. Kalapana Sanjel. Amanda Settler. Madeline Smaltz. Garrett Schmidt. Samuel Schmidt. Haley Schroeder. Claudia Schuster. Elhana Selimovic. Jennifer Settles. Sydney Sheik. Ali Simonson. Bilav Suwakoti. Grant Scrovey. Yeah. 
Samantha Smallers. Jacob Solom. Mariah Sorby. Heidi Steining. Luke Substead. Claire Suko. Ryan Sweeney. Mehdi Tahir. Lao Chi Tamang. Monica Tangen. Christina Tarlson. Ajay Thapa. Tara Devi Thapa. Jonathan Thomason. Laura Michelle Thompson. Kalpana Timsina. Alex Torres. Nicole Troutman. Kuisian Trailer. Did I get it right that time? Kyle Trefethren. Ty Tritch. Joshua Tronier. Augustina Volkova. Molly Vines. Jordan Wagner. Brandon Weary. Joshua Weiler. Reddick Weiss. Austin Wenland. Josephine Wetch. Grant Willard. Seth Wolf. Evan Wood. Sterling Zeck. Ricky Zertucci. It is my great honor to be one of the first to say congratulations to my fellow graduates of the class of 2015. This is a great accomplishment that each one of you should be proud of. We will now hear Earth Song, performed by the Fargo South Concert Choir, directed by Mrs. Sarah Licklow.
Thank you to Mrs. Sarah Lickboy and the concert choir for their performances today. As we are nearing the end of this celebration, I would like to introduce your closing speaker, Michelle Brewer. Michelle is known around the school for her overwhelming positivity and her ability to light up an entire room with her smile. At South, she participated in tennis, basketball, cross country, student council, DECA, FBLA, and National Honor Society. She will be attending Minnesota State University Moorhead in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Brewer. Class of 2015, families, administrators, and teachers, it is my pleasure to address you and close out our ceremony. Today marks the end of a highly anticipated milestone, not only by my classmates, but by their parents and family. Some days though, it seemed that our parents were pushing for us to graduate more than ourselves, the actual graduates. No matter how we got to this point, we have so many people to thank for their help. Although my message will be brief, I hope that it will leave a lasting impression for the years to come. The closing of this door means the opening of another. We have all heard this a thousand times, but this is only because it is applicable in every scenario. We must recognize that with this chapter of our life coming to the end, the happy, sad, frustrating experiences of high school are now just memories. These memories are meant to propel us further in life, not to hinder us in the future. I want you all to hear this message. Past mistakes are not something to dwell upon. I'll say it again. Past mistakes are not something to dwell upon, but rather to learn from. Move on and forgive yourself for your imperfections. As this chapter of high school is coming to an end, all of our mistakes, missed opportunities, and memories will be staying behind that door. Now that we move on, there is a brand new door waiting to be unlocked by our own unique key. We are all opening a different door, which will lead to a new path. Our unique door will give us new fun learning experiences. We are not, however, allowed to bring along our past burdens to this new journey. So unpack that suitcase. This new door is giving us the chance to create a new self. We can transform ourselves to be someone we are proud of. We can become more studious, more adventurous, less stressed out, more loving, or more responsible, for example. If you want to change your attitude and outlook on life, you are allowed to. It starts now, and you cannot wait until tomorrow. Envision your purpose in life. If you are not currently exhibiting the actions that will lead you to this purpose, change them. This is what the new door of life is for. Do not dwell on your past choices, but rather learn that you are only human. We have opportunity knocking on the other side of this door. That opportunity will not wait forever, so choose to leave this chapter of life behind and move on to the next. Nobody can force you to move on, however. We have to have the inner drive to change. We have to want to change in order to change. We have to want to become better. We have to want to learn the value of life more fully. High school has provided many great opportunities, but it has also provided many learning experiences. Some of these experiences have, may, may have involved making poor decisions. Many of these decisions have left students feeling unworthy of continuing on life's path. To that idea, I say, forgive yourself. We are each our own worst enemies. If we find a way to forgive ourselves and learn from our mistakes, we will be able to, live we will be able to happily live the rest of our lives. As we begin this new chapter and look to open that new door, I would like to give you a piece of advice. This advice was given to me every first day of school by my mother, and it goes like this. You never have to recover from a great start. This doesn't apply to school only, but rather to everyday matters. When you get up in the morning, you have 24 beautiful hours waiting in front of you. How you view these hours is vital to how your day is going to go. If you wake up dreading getting out of bed, your day will likely be long and daunting. However, if you get out of bed thinking that everything is awesome, your day will no doubt be brighter than ever. Let each day be a reminder that we are so much more than a body filled with bones. We are each our own unique person filled with hidden talents and quirky characteristics. You never know the impact you have on others. We can make or break somebody's day by our words. So be kind with your words and build people up instead of tearing people down. To close this monumental ceremony in the door of high school, I leave you with these words spoken by Shel Silverstein. There are no happy endings. Endings are the saddest parts. But give me a happy middle and a very happy start. Congratulations, class of 2015. It has been an honor and privilege to have shared all these memories with you. 
go and open the next door with courage to change the world and yourself for the better. Thanks, Michelle. This is it, class of 2015, the end of a long 12-year journey and also the beginning of a new one. I would like to thank my peers, family, teachers, and administrators for their continuous support over the years. They are the ones who have made this goal possible. Class of 20, I also hope that we strive for excellence by making a difference and a positive impact in our respective communities. With this, I'm delighted to officially say congratulations and hats off to the class of 2015. <laughs>